class we learn about angle bisector and its construction first you should know what is an angle bisector an angle bisector is a line or line segment which bisects the angle into two equal parts look at this figure let us suppose for convenience angle ABC equals 2x degree and this line bisects angle ABC such that angle ABL equals x degree and angle CBL equal to x degree. Okay. It shows that this line L is the angle bisector of angle ABC. Okay. Now, here is a question for you. Draw an angle of 100 degree and draw its angle bisector. Now, you have to draw a line segment AB. Now, you have to measure 100 degree. For that, take the protector. Look at the protector. There are two types of reading. You can see here outer scale and this is inner scale. And when you keep the protector here at B, look at the center, keep it at B and start from zero reading. You look where is zero reading. Outer scale or inner scale? The zero reading here it is in inner scale. And if you want to keep it at B, see the midpoint, keep it at B. Where is the zero reading? Zero reading is in the outer scale. Okay, now I am taking 100 degree. So you have to take outer scale only. Zero degree. And 100 degree is here. So put a point and release the protector and join these two points. What do you have to do next? We want to find the angle bisector of AB. You can mark here C. For that, you can take any length as radius keep it at B. Here B is the center and cut an arc. What is our task here? Drawing angle bisector of angle ABC. For that you see here the, you have to fix two points. Okay and take the perpendicular bisector of these two points. So keep it at this point, taking 3 fourth distance, cut an arc here and keep at this point and also cut an arc. And join this meeting point to B, okay?
Okay children, in this question we have to draw triangle ABC. But in this question we cannot use protector. Then how we will measure angle A and angle B? For that let me introduce two pairs of sex coils. Using sex coils, we can measure angle. Do you know how? Look at here. This sex coil is like an isosceles triangle. Why? These two sides are equal. Okay. And this angle is 90 degree. And if these two sides are equal, these two angles are also equal. So each angle is 45 degree. So 90, 45, 45. Now look at this sex square. See the smallest side angle, smallest angle is facing opposite to smallest side. So this angle is 30 degree. And larger side is this and angle 60 is opposite to larger side and the largest side of this right angle triangle is hypotenuse and 90 degree is opposite to hypotenuse. So got it. Now our task is first of all you have to draw line AB 7 cm and in the question angle A is 67 and half. And we cannot use protector. So what you have to do is just double 67 and half. 67 and half plus 67 and half. Add 67 plus 67. So you will get 134. Then add half plus half. Half plus half is one so you will get the angle 135 degree so double of 67 and a half is 135 degree once you have drawn 135 degree you can draw angle bisector then you will get 67 and a half so using 90 60 30 and 45 45 90 you have to find 135 degree. So 135 degree is equal to actually 90 plus 45. Correct? 90 degree plus 45 degree is 135 degree. So you have to use two types of sex coils here to measure 135 degree. Here, this is this angle is 45 degree you can keep 45 degree here and next angle we need is 90 degree so fix this tightly then take another sex square and what is 90 degree 90 degree is here you can keep it here okay children now take a pen and draw this line and join a Now we have to draw angle A 67 and half degree. For that draw the angle bisector of 135 degree. That is keep at A as center and take any radius draw an arc. After cutting an arc draw angle bisector. That is Draw perpendicular bisector of these two points and join these two meeting points. Next is you have to draw angle B 15 degree without using protector. For that we can use this sex square. The smallest angle is 30 degree. So you can keep 30 degree at B. Okay, and draw a line. Now children, this angle is 30 degree. We 
we want only 15 degree for that draw the angle bisector of 30 degree same procedure take a compass and keep the center at B and take any radius and from these two points draw the perpendicular bisector and this bisector will meet at this line and that point will be angle C. From taking these two points draw the angle bisector and this bisector join B and you have to extend this line to touch this line. Okay. And this meeting point will be C. So this angle is 67 and half. That is angle A is 67 and half. And angle B is 15 degree. Angle A 67 and half. Angle B 15 degree. And this is the point angle C. So this is the triangle. Triangle A B it's time to wind up my class. Hope that you have understood this construction. Okay. See you again in the next class. Take care. Thank you.